everybody! Hello! So today we're going to show you a video of our trip to Vatican City. You know, this experience is very special for me and for my whole family. And Dario will tell you why. I saw um, Pope Francis and it was a pleasure seeing him in person. I told him, good morning Pope Francis. Please pray for me. I love you. And he answered, don't forget to pray for me. And he touched my face and blessed me. Some people are asking why. Why did you, we go to Rome? And how did it all happen? So 10 years ago, um, I'm having a hard time getting pregnant. And ang dami kong nararamdaman sa katawan. I have hormonal problem. And also, something is wrong sa my reproductive system. I don't want to go into medical terms kasi baka mali-mali pa yung masabi ko. Sa so pagkakaintindi ko, yung hormones ko is, yung normal is parang pang 100 to 120, yung sa akin mga 3,000 plus. Tapos yung ovary ko is retroverted or introverted. Basta hindi siya yung normal. So, ganon. So, uh, tapos ang daming nangyayari sa katawan ko. So, sabi ni, ni Darek, we have to uh, do the last stage kasi uh, we've done everything na but still you know we failed um i told direct na gusto kong pumunta ng rome it for 9 days tapos all i did was like you know go to churches nagdasal before pa pala ako pumunta ng rome uh, i had a blood test like a day before ako bumiyahe because my gynecologist requested for it. So they took out of test and then bumiyahin na ako. Two days after, uh, Dara got a call from the doctor and sabi niya na, you know, my condition is not improving. So kailangan pagbalik ko from vacation, kailangan i-admit ako sa hospital kasi they want to do further tests. So I might stay in the hospital for two to three days. Hindi mo na sinabi sa akin ni Dare kasi she, he doesn't want me to be worried. Chill-chill lang ako, tapos dasal, um, you know, visited a lot of churches. Ito ko talagang pumunta sa uh, St. Peter's Basilica and also sa St. Paul's. It's outside of Rome. So the whole day, minsan, dun lang ako talaga sa loob ng St. Peter's. Nakatambay, nakaupo, nagdadasal, umiiyak-iyak. Um, parang nakilala na nga ako ng mga security guard doon. Kasi parang ilang days nila ako nakikita na nandun. So, I was really praying na sabi ko, Lord, bigyan mo naman ako ng anak. Pwede babae? And please, Lord, ano, sana healthy. Uh, I have two conditions. <laughs> sabi ko, healthy and girl. ba sabi nila, if you pray, kailangan you have to be precise. So, talaga hiningi ko because, you know, we already, I had a stepson already. Darek had a son. So, sabi ko, kailangan ko ng anak na babae. Kasi yun din yung dream ni Darek eh. Magkaroon ng anak na babae. So, when I was there, mga on my sixth or seventh day, sabi ko kay Darek, to feel strange. I think I'm pregnant. Kasi iba yung pakiramdam ko. Tapos sabi niya sa akin, no, you can't be pregnant. So talagang pinipilit ko, no, I, I really feel weird. Feeling ko talaga buntis ako. So, Darek told me, sabi niya, I don't want you to feel discouraged, but the doctor told me na pagbalik mo sa Poland, you need to be hospitalized. Kasi uh, the results of the laboratory didn't go well. So, ang sabi ng doctor kay Darek, is giving us two to three years to be pregnant. So, you know, Darek nalulumo na. I was so sure na I'm pregnant. I can really feel it. After nine days, bumalik na ako ng Poland. Sabi ko kay Darek, no, you need to buy me a pregnancy test. So, we took the test. Two pink lines. Tinawagan niya yung doctor. Sabi ng doctor, it is possible na mag two pink lines because sa hormones ko. Because of the medicine that I am taking. So, probably, yung hormones ko is, you know, nagiging baliw-baliw na sa loob ng katawan ko. That's why positive yung result ng, ng pregnancy test. Kasi sabi niya kay Darek, how could I be pregnant if 9 days or 10 days ago, when I had the test, there's no possibility that I am pregnant. Pero sabi ko, no, I really feel that I'm pregnant. So, positive, no? Check kami ole Positive pa rin. So, sabi ni Darek, we have to go to the doctor. So, pumunta kami, nag-blood test ako uli. Pregnancy test ako uli dun sa doctor's office. Ano nga, uh, two lines. Tapos sabi niya, let's wait for the blood result. 
Pero sabi niya, it's impossible na magiging pregnant ako. So, nung tumawag siya na na-release na yung blood test, she is pregnant. How did it happen? So, ang sagot lang ni Darek, miracle pregnancy. And I really believe that it's a miracle pregnancy. Because, um, who would ever think that I will be pregnant. And of course, now I have Daria. Really prayed. Sabi ko, Lord, pag binigyan mo ko ng anak, I promise na dadalhin ko siya dito sa simbahan mo. I will present her to you uh, bago siya mag-7 years old. And we are already planning to go to Rome uh, bago siya mag-7. Kaya lang, COVID strike. So, ngayon na, na pwede nang bumiyahe, wala nang restrictions. So, I told Darek na we have to go to Rome and I will uh, bring Daria and present her as I promised. I would like to uh, take this opportunity to say thank you to Ante Mitek Marisol Solivio. Thank you very much, Auntie, and also to Monsignor Nicola. Monsignor Nicola is um, an Italian priest based in Rome and a very good friend of, uh, of my Auntie Marisol. And uh, she informed uh, Monsignor Nicola about Daria. And Monsignor Nicola wrote a letter to the office of Pope Francis. And then... Uh, luckily, we are blessed na we were able to um, get an invitation to go there. And you know what, guys? Isi-share ko lang na at the day na kapupunta kami dun sa audience with Pope Francis, Daria had an asthma attack at 5 a.m. Nagising ako, sumisinok-sinok siya. <laughs> Gumaganon siya. So, nung nag-flashlight ako sa kanya, nag-purple na yung lips. So, ginising ko, binigyan ko ng gamot, nag-inhalation kami and all. Ginising ko siya ng 7 o'clock because we need to be there like 8.30. Hindi talaga siya magising. Pagod na pagod siya. Puyat na puyat siya. You know, we were late. Pagdating namin, nandun na si Pope Francis. Nag-uumpisa na. Tapos, na-surprise kami kasi pinaakyat kami doon mismo sa stage. Beside doon sa kung nasaan si, si Pope Francis. You know what? The whole time, si Daria natutulog kasi masama talaga yung pakiramdam. Luckily, uh, nagising siya nung nagsasabi na in Polish kasi may mga binabasang mga messages si Pope Francis and she was able to recognize oh mama it's in Polish um, and then after that akala namin that we will not go to Pope Francis right and we are surprised that they asked us to line up to go and mag bless kay Pope Francis how do you feel when you met Pope Francis I was very happy and you believe that you're a miracle baby, yeah? Well, miracles happen every day. But for us, for Derek and I, we have our walking miracle with us. So yun lang, guys. We just want to share with you yung experience namin. Because, you know, we are so grateful, um, happy sa nangyari sa aming buhay. So please watch our video in Vatican City. Bye! Tradicionalmente chama o povo cristão a multiplicar os gestos diários de veneração à Virgem Maria. O segredo da sua paz e coragem era esta certeza. A Deus nada é impossível. Precisamos aprender isto com a Mãe de Deus. Mostremos-nos agradecidos, rezando o texto todos os dias. Que Deus nos abençoe e Nossa Senhora vos proteja. أيها الأبو الأقدس يسر المؤمن أن تفينا باللغة العربية الحاضرين هنا So now we are waiting for our turn to go and, and say hello to Pope Francis and Brother GB is with us okay. See the pole yeah, <laughs> we're now lining up. Yay. Yay. Very good opportunity and salikod ang mga kinasal.
Wow. <laughs> Congratulations and best wishes. Thank you very much. We're almost near Pope Francis.